What's going on folks and welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a little bit of a change of pace from my normal videos and that is because I want to show y'all at home what I wear in my turkey vest during turkey season. Turkey season's right around the corner. I'm itching to go. It's so close. I can feel it. But we're going to go over all this gear and whatever gear I describe in this video will be linked in the description below for you to go check out if you want to buy it yourself. First, I want to start by talking about the vest. This vest is the Run and Gun 200 by Night and Hail. It has a 10 point adjustment system so it can fit about any body type and it really feels light and secure whenever you're moving throughout the woods and it's not as bulky and uh, and in the way like other vests. I, I really enjoy it. It has plenty of pockets for it to be a Run and Gun style. One thing that I love about this vest is that the seat mechanism, instead of having like a clamp or a buckle or a magnet to keep your seat close to your back whenever you're walking and it's not slapping on your legs, this one, the seat, I would like to say it inverts itself. You just flop it out and then you can have the seat right on your butt. And it actually has two adjustments on the side so you can cinch that down and even if you want to run around with the seat, on your butt and it's not just flopping up hitting you in the legs. This vest consists of nine pockets and it holds about anything you'll ever need in the field and we're going to go over each pocket one by one describing what's in each pocket and why. Like first if you can't tell you have these pockets right here that hold your slates and your crystal pot calls and my first favorite call of choice is this Cherry Classic Crystal by Woodhaven Calls and it is a for an inexpensive call for Woodhaven Custom Calls, it really does have a good sound to it. I mainly use it to get the sound projected out in the woods a little bit deeper, and it has enough rasp, enough, enough yelp. It has about anything you need. Now, I will say I bought this about two or three years. Eh, I, maybe I'd give it four years. This is a call by Zinc Calls. It's the Wicked Slate Call. And the main thing that I like about it, I don't normally use it but the main thing I use on it is actually in the back, there's this little scratch pad, little scratch circle is what I would like to call it. And sometimes on the end of your striker stick, you'll, ha you'll get what I'd like to call a little film where it doesn't sound as good when it's striking the call, but you rub it on that real quick and you're good to go. And I usually have it upside down where this little scratch pad can stick out and then I can just easily just reach down, scratch it, and then I'm good to keep calling. Now we're going to go to the pocket that's behind these pot calls and this is what I use to hold my strikers. So it's fairly large, you can hold four different strikers and I only consist of having three in here. And then my favorite one would be the Woodhaven Custom Purple Heart. I think it has a good sound, I have good luck with it. And then I also have the normal Woodhaven Customs Hickory and then the Zinc, the one that came with my Zinc slate call. Now, it just consists on the day which one I want to use. All three of them feel really nice, especially the Woodhaven custom calls, which I am very fond of Woodhaven, so you can take that as you will, but it just depends on the day. I'll use whichever one I feel like is going to have the best luck that day. Staying with the trend on being on this left side showing y'all these pockets, I will show y'all how this has a built-in box call holder where the top of the box call goes in its own separate pocket. That way it doesn't scratch the box while you're walking and it sounds like you're squeaking through the woods, which I really, really like. Now it has a crimp style uh, bungee where you can make the pocket even tighter on the call so it doesn't move even more. I actually keep a Primos matchbox in there and it's not the best call in the world and I probably won't never even use it whenever um, out calling because it's I mean it's just a fair fair price call from Walmart and the story behind it is I got it back when I first got into turkey hunting maybe five or six years ago and it's just always I mean it's just kind of a good luck thing and I don't like walking around without this pocket full because this kind of flap it doesn't stay hooked on unless there's something inside of it Onto this right side, I'm gonna start from the top and go down to the bottom, and just like we did on this side. And the first pocket is you have this pocket back here where you can put little hand trimmers, whatever you need to put in there. But my favorite thing is I will run Onyx on my phone all the time whenever we're chasing birds, finding a spot to go sit. And it is the perfect width, which I have a brand new iPhone. It is a perfect width for a snug fit to throw your iPhone down in there. And even if you, ha you might could fit an iPhone Plus in there. I haven't tried, but you could do that on your own time. 
but it really instead of reaching down in my pockets or if you're sitting up against a tree and like your your legs up and you can't really get in your pocket it's really convenient to have your phone right here on your chest so you can pull it up look at what you need to look at and then put it back in there now we'll go to this pocket that's just the same size as this striker pocket but it has a little divider in the middle which allows me to carry my primos power owl call and also my primos crow call now these are just locator calls i use these periodically whenever i need to find where a bird is or strike one up and you don't have to get an expensive locator call to locate birds they depending on the bird they'll gobble at whatever they could gobble at the slam of your truck door so anything that will make loud noise and be really jarring in the woods to make them just sound off is the best thing possible now one of my favorite things about this vest is it has this little flat down pouch and it can hold two wet mouth calls so you keep your diaphragm calls in here i keep them in here when i'm running around and especially after you get done use them and you throw them in their little plastic box that you see they come in you'll see it get hazed over because it was in your mouth and the saliva's all in there but this is a mesh material so it lets your diaphragm calls breathe and like let go of that moisture without mildewing or cracking or whatever else will happen to a diaphragm call over months and months of use when it comes to diaphragm calls i am also fond of the woodhaven custom calls and i use their ghost series and also a red scorpion and that's just on personal preference i like the cut it has a little slick cut with an angle cut and that's basically how both of them are some of them are just a little different but these are my main two that i run i love the rasp from them i love how high pitch i can get with it and all in all woodhaven custom calls is my favorite diaphragm so far i've tried four or five different brands and i've never had as much success as i have with a woodhaven custom diaphragm call now on to what I would want to call the utility pouch. Now this pouch, it can hold a lot of stuff and I like to hold maybe my morning snack in there, but what I keep in here daily and it never leaves unless it gets used. And you'll see what I mean by used, but this utility pouch, it is really big. I mean, you can fit your whole hand in there. there you could put plenty of stuff, but I like to put stuff in there like my Woodhaven Custom Scratcher is what I would want to call it. It's like a, a stone on a stick and it scratches up your pot call. That way it keeps the sound that it needs while you're out hunting. Other things that I, that I keep in this pouch is going to be ammunition. I'll keep extra shells in here. Now these are not the shells that I use, but it's some that I had laying around and it's nice to keep them in here because you never know when you're going to whiff three shots and you need more. So these are actually uh, TSS by Federal Premium, and they, I haven't had the best luck with them, but I think it's because they're three inch, and I shoot three and a half inch shells. I shoot uh, nitros, and my all-time favorite is gonna be the Longbeard XRs by Winchester. So if you can find some of those, pick them up, and maybe give some to me, because I need an, another box. The last thing I could for sure say stays in here all the time is just things like another scratch pad, and there's also what I would call like a, a sink sponge. It's just another thing that I'll scratch up that Zinc Wicked uh, slate call. Another thing you can keep in here is like one of my favorites. You can keep a cliff bar in here and you can keep water packets. You can keep whatever you need in there. This is what I would like to call the utility packet. It has multiple uses and it can care about anything that you need because you're not going to carry anything bulky anyways. But this has just enough room for about everything. Another thing is you have this water bottle pouch on the side and this is a necessity whenever you're walking around and turkey hunting. I usually keep, I have this like liter screw on cap bottle that I actually spray painted because the top was silver and I didn't want it shining. So anything that you can store water in, keep it in this pouch. Always stay hydrated because you don't want to get stuck out in the woods and not have water. That's just a bad day for everybody. Now we're gonna to move to the back, but I just wanna say before all the gear is in here, I you can fact check me for this, but I'm pretty positive this thing weighs maybe a pound and a half, a pound and a quarter by itself before you put the gear in, which is really nice. I mean, it's, it's just as good as it can be. Like I've had, I think I've only had one other vest, but 
I don't think I would ever change from this vest. Everything on this vest is detachable and adjustable and all in all just a really great vest and I highly suggest it if you want to vest this style. So on the back of this vest you have a really nice logo. I love their logo. I just, I guess I really support the company on my own ways. So it has a logo, looks really nice, bottomland camo, but one thing I'll say is this back is meant or described to be what you could put a camelback pouch in and it actually has a little opening uh, I can stick my finger down in there a little opening where your tube can come off your camelback and you can keep it right here on your shoulder and drink whenever you want it but I have another use for it and this might be somewhat of a hack that you could do if you have this vest and it might bring the comfort levels a little bit more this vet, the back of this vest is very comfortable. It has good padding, but what I did to it in my own DIY ways is I put a just random generic thermos seat from Walmart, maybe five bucks, and I cut it to fit just perfect, and this just allows me to sit even longer on a tree waiting on that long beard to come in. Sometimes a bird can be really stubborn, and you'll be sitting there for hours, so why not just be comfortable whenever you're sitting there? Something that Night and Hell sends you with this vest, which I really enjoy, is this bird tote. Now, I don't normally tote my birds with this bird tote. I usually just throw them over my shoulder, but this makes for really good pictures from a bird hanging from a limb or whatever after you harvest them to show off for everybody on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're using. This is a really good strap for that. Now, what I like to do with it is I run one string through the other loop, go around a tree limb, hang it down, and then it'll cinch up on the turkey spurs feet. So I really enjoy that. I'm so glad they sent me that. I probably wouldn't have thought of it. I would have just used some hay string or something like I had before for hanging up a turkey. Another thing that I keep in here is this just generic orange little, you can call it a flag, cloth, whatever you want to call it. And this is another thing, if I'm in a public area that is highly pressured and there's a lot of people around, in these little cinch up bungee cord things, I can put this down in there just in case I'm walking away from where somebody is sitting and they see that orange and they know I'm not just something walking through the woods that they're going to try to shoot at. So that is a really, in my opinion, that is a good thing to have, especially if you're hunting public land. Private land, you might have some poachers on there that think you're a woolly mammoth running through the woods, but... This is a really good tool for turkey hunting. Last but not least, in my back pouch, you gotta keep the toilet paper. You get up early to chase them goblin toms and you drink all that coffee, you eat a gas station biscuit, whatever you get, and it's about nine o'clock and it's knocking on your door, you better have some toilet paper. Now you can keep that in your utility pouch, but I just like to not have my hands on it, so I keep it in my back pouch because I'm rarely in this back pouch. This vest also has unique features that I have not tried out yet, such as this little loop system that's on your side. I'm pretty sure you can somehow put a pistol holster on there. I haven't put one on there. I usually just keep it on my hip. But there's probably hidden features that anybody could find out with this vest that I don't know of yet. But this is just what I would give an overview for this vest on my personal experience and how much I've enjoyed it and the gear that's inside of it. So if you enjoyed this video and you got something beneficial out of it, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would love to see the support. But other than that, link in the bio for everything that I've described today, and I hope you have a blessed day.